Hey guys, Chris Dick here. I'm uh, today. I'm going to be working on a lesson in setting up a Hadoop cluster. This will be the first in uh, a series of videos showing you how to do that. Uh, what I'm going to be working with here is the uh, Amazon AWS system. Um, it uh, offers a fairly decent uh, free tier service to set this up. Uh, and the most uh, important word is free doesn't cost anything to get us going here. So what I'm going to just explain here in this uh, uh, EC2 dashboard, um, we are working off the Eastern US server set right here, the hub right here. Um, you can, depending on where you, uh, where you are, you, can, you may set up uh, somewhere else. I'm in the Eastern uh, North America. So uh, what we see right now, looking at our resources, we have uh, zero running instances, zero dedicated host, zero volume, zero key pairs, and uh, zero placements. Uh, the only thing that we have is a security group, and that's the default security group. All right. So getting started here, we're going to click on the Launch Instance button. Now this is going to bring us to a page where we can set up our uh, our instance. Now we're going to be setting up a four node system, okay? That's one name node and three data nodes. From here, we're going to click on the free tier only. We don't want to be picking anything that's not free. Uh, from here, we have uh, we have this uh, Ubuntu server, okay, the 14, and uh, we select that one as our uh, choice here. We're going to be using the free tier uh, system which is a T2 micro. Uh, it works well, there's not, uh, not any problems with speed from what I'm seeing and that's the most important thing. We're able to do a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff with that. So we select that uh, as our option then we click configure instance. Okay so from here we're going to select four instances, okay? That means it's going to be creating four, uh, four separate virtual machines for us, okay? Uh, don't worry about the messages for auto scaling. We're not concerned about that. Uh, this is not a production environment either. So uh, there's a lot of uh, things that we're going to be setting up that are just for learning purposes, okay? So next we click on add storage. We are looking at uh, eight gigabytes, okay? And uh, that should be enough for our system to get started. Click next, tag instance. Now, this gives our each instance a name and because we're creating four all at once, it's gonna give them all the same name. So it'll all be node, okay? Now we configure the security group. Uh, we can create a new security group and what we're going to do is we're going to call this one open okay and this is just uh open to every one simple okay uh from here we want all traffic okay and the type is all traffic you'll see it sets all the defaults here in other words anybody that is um working with our system uh, they can, you know, anybody can access the system. So uh, you can uh, you, you can access this my system from outside as well. And we'll go to review and launch. Now that we've set that up, okay. You'll see here, here are all the details we've set up. Um, there is uh, there's nothing that we really need to know here, but I will go through it. Um, here is starting off with instance details quite simply. Um, from this, we got our root. Our name is called node. Uh, what else can we see? I think we're pretty good here. Let's move along. Click launch. Okay. Now it's asking us to create key pairs. Now we're going to be working on uh, a public and private key store so that we can uh, access our servers using passwordless um, SSH. Okay, and which we need means we basically need a key to access that. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a key. Okay, and I'm going to do this. My Hadoop key. I'm going to call it that. All right. 
From here, I'm going to click Download Key Pair. Okay. So what that will do, and you'll see it come out uh, in the bottom here. Okay, my Hadoop key. See, I had one here before some, from something else. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. And then it says launch instances. So from here, I click launch instances. Now, by the way, guys, uh, this PEM file is going to be used later on, so we will get back to it. But right now, we're just going to click on launch instances so I can show you what, uh, what happens here. Okay, so once we've gone through this process, it's creating all of our servers for us. Uh, tells us everything looks like it succeeded. So why don't we view instances and we'll see what happened here. Excellent. So it looks like we have four nodes created. And once these things uh, complete their refresh process, um, we will get moving. So it's just saying it's pending. Actually, we can probably just go ahead and rename these. So I'm going to name this. I'm going to give it a, a node here. Okay, this one is called name node. Next one, we're going to call this data node one. Okay. And data node two and data node 3. Okay. So now what we have is our four node uh, cluster ready to go. Uh, it still has some things that have to be done. So we have uh, some installation of software, uh, passwordless uh, SSH, and we're going to get started in our next video. So don't forget to like and share, and uh, we'll uh, get back to you in part two. Thanks a lot, guys.